Well, today I was just thinking, why is it that uh, we still have a lot of ethnic conflicts and ethnic wars in Africa when in actual fact other countries, uh, black people from other countries have learned to live with each other harmoniously? And this is what I concluded. I don't think the ethnic wars in Africa are just solely ethnic wars. I believe that uh, somebody is playing something behind the scenes and that is what is triggering ethnic wars in Africa. I just took a closer look at it and realized that uh, most of the ethnic wars they happened in Central Africa and Central to uh, West Africa. And those are the countries which have actually like very rich natural resources, for example diamonds and, and petroleum. Petroleum, yeah. I think petroleum is probably uh, the biggest reason why we are having these ethnic wars. So, uh, why? Because the first world is benefiting from the petroleum from the third world, and as you know, the third world has got uh, its trading partners. So let's say um, country A in the developing world, in Africa specifically, is sending 85% uh, of its uh, petroleum um, uh, or petroleum products to uh, first world nation A. The first world nation B would, li would also like to get those uh, resources from third world nation A. The only thing they can do is find the slightest conflict that is on the ground in that country. And, and what's happening is that two first world countries are fighting over natural resources in Africa using Africans. So Africa is now the battleground, Africans are now the victims, but who's going to benefit is the first world. Why? Because if the first world wants to remove the president who's probably in power in third world country A so that they can also benefit from the petroleum, why? Because probably the president hasn't signed an agreement like for trade with them. What they do is find somebody who is not um, content with the president who is um, actually against some of the government policies and you often hear of rebels going to the bush and fighting from the bush. Rebels are usually just normal people that you know you grow up with them or you go to the same school. They come from poor families, some of them, they, even if they come from rich families, they're not rich enough to afford ammunition. But all of a sudden, this rebel goes to the forest and comes back with AK-47s, with a whole lot of ammunition, with tankers, and you start wondering.